Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. Okay, today I wanted to show you how you can break the protection on a worksheet. I've got a worksheet that I created a long time ago that has uh, this graphic or image that is a hot hyperlink to the website blog and uh, anytime I'm in there and edit a cell it uh, does some random selection and finds another image well these images are out on a hidden sheet called pics and if you see if I try and click anywhere in this sheet I get this error that says hey this is protected read only and I cannot remember the password to save my life. So let's go ahead and uh, show you how you can break the protection and get in and edit this sheet if you need to. Also you can see how I was able to uh, create that uh, random selection. So the first thing you need to do, let me go ahead and close down this sheet and what you'll want to then do is go out and make a copy of your worksheet um, somewhere and uh, uh, then what you want to do is we are going to change the extension on this Excel file to a zip file .zip. However, uh, just renaming it does not actually change the type and you'll see the icon will change to a zip folder instead of an Excel file uh, if you've done it correctly. Now, uh, if you try and do it, um, so let's see, so if I go out here and uh, uh, try and just rename it and do dot Z, ZIP, you'll see that uh, it changed it to .zip, but it's still an Excel file because uh, Microsoft Office will now allow you to do periods within your names. It's no longer the final extension. So let's go ahead and change it back to uh, just the regular uh, with no .zip. Now, in order to, if you're having this problem that when you try and change the extension by renaming it, it does not change your icon and actually change it from an Excel file. Uh, to a zip file, what you'll need to do is go up to your home tab um, or up to your ribbons and you probably will have a ribbon that says view and then within here you may have something that says folder options. Now in Office 2010 you'll see it just says options and if I click on it it will bring up this folder options dialog box. So you'll have this and then there is a view um, tab within here as well and you want to find this option right here, hide extensions for known file types. So you want to uncheck that and click on apply. Now in Office 2010, you can also just check it right there as well. And now you can see it added, it changed my name from break protection to break protection.xlsx where it's showing the extension. So now I can simply rename it. So if I go right click and do rename and uh, go in and change the extension to .zip you'll get this pop-up box that says if you change the extension it might become unusable. Go ahead and click on yes. And uh, as you can see here, it has changed my icon to a .zip file. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to extract all of these files. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that uh, zip file and just do, um, oops, let's see, right click on it. Uh, and you can see in Office 2010, when I do select a zip file at the very top, I will have an extract uh, folder uh, or a ribbon where I can do extract all. Alternately, I can right click on it and do extract all. Now, while I am extracting this, uh, we're just going to go ahead and put it right back into this folder where we are right now and say extract all. And it is working on it. Okay, so now we are in the folder, as you can see, of the uh, extracted break protection file. Now, every Excel file is really a combination of Excel, um, XML folders and files. And what we need to do is we need to go into um, the appropriate folder and find what we're looking for. Now, it's going to be in this Excel folder. And we can drill down in here and you can see worksheets since I'm protected a worksheet, not the overall workbook. In this case, it's going to be in the worksheets folder. And I believe it might be sheet two. Now, you'll need to edit this in an XML editor. Uh, I like, I'll put one in the show notes. It's called, uh, let's open it up and you can see what it is called. It's called XML Notepad. It's a Microsoft product. So uh, it's pretty uh, pretty good and styling. I like it. It's pretty easy to use. Let's right click on sheet two and see if that's the one that has the protection. So I'm going to open it up with XML Notepad. 
And you can see this is what your spreadsheet or worksheet in workbook is actually made up of. Um, and you'll see this one folder in here called Sheet Protection. Now, um, so in XML uh, workbook, it's really f easy to see. It says it's got a password in here. That's not the actual password. It's some encryption. Uh, so that I've tried that. It doesn't work. Um, but what I want to do is just go ahead is when you're in your XML editor, just delete this whole section here of sheet protection and all of the different values that are in there. So I've clicked on it and I'm just going to hit my delete key. You can see it's now gone and I can exit out of this and I want to save my changes. Yes. And uh, you can see that that file has now been modified as of today. All right. So let's go back up to my folder. Um, once again, uh, in that zip extracted folder, we want to go into one level down, highlight all of our uh, different files and folders, right click on it and do share uh, send to, and we're going to send it to a compressed zip folder. And let's just call it uh, break protection uh, pass word gone <laughs> or deleted. Let's do that. And uh, so we've created a new zip folder, which is, once again, this is an Excel file. It just doesn't have the right extension. So now I can go in and click on it, hit my F2 key to rename it. But instead of renaming it, you can see where it's highlighted for the rename. I'm going to change the extension and do XLSX. Hit Enter. And it'll say, are you sure you want to do this? You might change it and become unusable. Yes, we're changing it back to an Excel file. And you can see it's now changed the extension to show you that it's an Excel file. Let's go ahead and open up that file. Right click and unhide that extra sheet. And now you can see I can click in here. I can type in here. I can fix any bugs that I had on this protected sheet. So um, I thought uh, that was something that you'd want to know in case you ever created a protected worksheet and you forget the password. Perhaps somebody left your company and they password protected a sheet and you weren't sure how to about go about fixing that. Uh, that's the quick and easy way to do it. I can s tried it in Office uh, uh, 2007. I'm also doing it right now in Office 2010, so it should work for you. You will need to download an XLM, XML editor, uh, maybe Notepad++ or uh, uh, Notepad you can do it in. It's just a little bit more difficult. I'll put a um, uh, XML editor. Uh, the XML editor that I had, I thought seemed to work the best. It's just the easiest XML notepad. Um, and uh, those are the steps that you can do it to unprotect your sheet. Hopefully you like this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up in the reviews. Uh, and I appreciate all your comments and thoughts. Once again, this is Steve True at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please subs consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.